please get ready for a dictation of exercise number 19. It is a legal passage from Progressive Magazine of February 2022. Five seconds. Start. The legal representatives of the deceased Jagir Singh, the husband of the second respondent, preferred a claim petition being MACT case number 70 of 2013 under section 166 of the Motor Vehicles Act 1988 before the Motor Accident Claims Tribunal Pathan Court claiming compensation to the tune of rupees 36 lakhs. The claim petition was filed on the basis that on 19-2-2013, Jagir Singh was travelling to Pathan Court on his motorcycle and that juncture. The offending truck bearing temporary registration number PB-06-6894 belonging to the appellant number 2 driven in a rash and negligent manner hit the motorcycle of the deceased as a result of which he sustained multiple injuries and eventually succumbed to the same when being taken to the hospital. The claim put forth was sought to be sustained on many a basis which need not be adverted to. The insurer, the first respondent herein, opposed the claim on the ground that the vehicle in question was driven in violation of the terms of the insurance policy and further the driver was not having a valid and effective driving license and therefore it was not obliged to indemnify the insured. That apart, a stand was taken that the vehicle did not have the permit on the date of the accident. On behalf of the owner of the vehicle, and driver assertions were made that the vehicle was insured with the first respondent as per the insurance policy that the vehicle was registered and the driver had the requisite driving license additionally copy of the root permit of the offending truck was brought on record the tribunal noted that the vehicle was purchased in September 2012 and insured on 20th December 2012. It was registered on 26th February 2013. The accident, as stated earlier, occurred on 19th February 2013. The tribunal placing reliance on the decision rendered by this court in National Insurance Company Limited versus C. Bhart and others held that the insurer was not liable and proceeded to quantify the amount of compensation and determined the same at rupees 15 lakhs. The tribunal directed the amount to be paid by the insurer along with interest at the rate of 9% from the date of award till its realization and recover the same from the owner and driver of the vehicle. A further direction was given for attachment of the truck also. It was contended 
in appeal that the appellant number 2 the owner of the offending vehicle had deposited the necessary fees along with application for issue of route permit and the same was issued on 27th february 2013 it was further urged that when the owner of the vehicle had already submitted the documents in the transport office for grant of permit along with the requisite fees the tribunal was in error in holding that the vehicle was being plied without a valid permit in support of the submissions reliance was placed upon the high court scrutinized an extra a1 which was filed to justify the stand that the application for issue of the route permit was made to the competent authority and on a scrutiny of the same came to hold that the owner had not been able to establish that he had submitted the application for issue of permit before the accident referring to section 66 of the act and placing reliance on c bharat case the high court opined that even assuming that the owner had already applied for grant of the permit before the accident the same would not entitle the owner to ply the vehicle it is worthy to note that the learned single judge distinguished the decisions cited before him and resultantly confirmed the award of the tribunal we have heard mr sudhir waliya learned counsel for the appellants and mr amit kumar singh learned counsel for the respondent insurer the conclusions recorded by the tribunal and further confirmed by the high court clearly show that the accident occurred on 19th february 2013 and the competent authority issued the permit in this regard sections of the act that define motor vehicle or vehicle and permit are motor vehicle or vehicle means any mechanically propelled vehicle adapted for use upon roads whether the power of propulsion is transmitted there to from an external or internal source and includes a chassis to which a body has not been attached and a trailer but does not include a vehicle running upon fixed rails or a vehicle of a special type adapted for use only in a factory or in any other enclosed premises or a vehicle having less than 4 wheels fitted with engine capacity of not exceeding 25 cubic centimeters and permit means a permit issued by a state or regional transport authority or an authority prescribed in this behalf under this act authorizing the use of a motor vehicle 
as a transport vehicle on a perusal of both the definitions it is quite clear that a permit has to be issued by the competent authority stop